Oh, yes. Got the old Polaris hooked up with the duck sticker. Yo, what up guys and welcome back to another one. This is a snow goose hunt. Like I've been warning you guys, I found this. This was some lost footage. I've, I've been trying my darndest to find this hunt and I finally freaking found it. It was in an old passport. If you don't know what a uh, passport is, it is a... It is an external hard drive that is one of my old ones and yeah, found this thing, it was buried and a uh, little treat for you guys. Not the biggest hunt, not the best, but it has some really funny moments in it and stick around to the end of this video is when I walk around the spread. I do it a little backwards this time. I walk you around the spread at the end of the hunt and show you uh, where we were hiding, how we had the lay down blinds set behind a little hill yada yada just stick around to the end there's a lot of good tips towards the end of the video so don't miss that but we got the freedom duck shirts still and for all your fourth of july needs we got them koozies so either or the koozie the shirt go over to duckswaterfowl.com i will link it down below go pick you up something support the channel every purchase goes directly to supporting this lovely channel that y'all love and believe me, I'm glad you're all here. Let's get in the video. Let's waste no more time. Enjoy. Good morning, everybody. I'm taking over for Bobby for a second while he's setting some decoys. Uh, basically, I'm going to show you what we got going on here. We have 13 layout blinds. They're pretty well hidden if you can see them. But we're sitting in a little depression here, and it should keep us nice and hidden. I don't know. We probably, we're setting, we got two trailers set right now, so. God, I don't know, we probably have 2,000 decoys out, or we're gonna have 2,000 decoys out. It's gonna be crazy. The guys that uh, found this field for us said there's about 80,000 snow geese in this whole area. We got guys in the fields next to us. We got guys in fields just down the way. It is insane. If you guys don't know who I am, follow me on Instagram, at Alan G Photo. I hunt with Bobby all the time. Got a lot of pictures on there. Um, every once in a while I got the occasional video, but give me a follow and stay up to date. We are finally all laid down. We have birds working. It's been shooting light for about 30 minutes and uh, it is extremely, extremely foggy. So we have two Snows Down Low e-collars going right now, one in front and one in back. And uh, man, this spread is huge. I haven't got to show you guys how big this spread is, but let me tell you, it is giant. Gigantic. Come on, now we got a big group working. Come on now. Get in here. We haven't shot yet. There's a uh, group hunting across the road from us. These uh, two sections that are next to each other here are just plum loaded every day. Like I'm talking both sections having carrying a total of 50,000 feeding every day for the last I don't know three days so this uh, area over here is just plum loaded oh boy we got a lot of noise going on I'm sorry if you guys are having trouble hearing me but uh, we have a huge spread and we have to have both of these units cranked up because for one it's foggy they can't see the spread oh there they are if they do that again we're gonna do it you know what i think we, i think we need to take one speaker in front and in back and point it up because they're getting over and they're hitting a dead spot it's getting real quiet nice well we got one down, two down actually. We killed two singles, so. Woo, it is loud. Oh my goodness. Kill it! Oh my lord, nothing? One. Come on, get down, please. Oh my goodness.
This fog is so thick. Oh, they're going to do it, Cameron. Every time. Oh. God. Well, like I said, there's a group hunting across across the road and it has happened three times now that we have had a huge volley of birds working literally on their last pass and the group across the road just lays into whatever they're shooting at and um, flares our birds so that has happened three three times in a row with every big volley we have had very extremely frustrating extremely frustrating oh boy look at all the birds oh my goodness oh my goodness doggy that's a lot of birds wow wow our luck you know what our luck says is that the group across the street's going to shoot right when they're locked up doing it extra dirty because that's what's happened all morning. Well, these are gonna do it. You guys wanna shoot these two? Hell yeah. Get up! Woo! Woo! There we go. Boom. Well, there's two. Hey, two more coming right at us in front. Are those leaving? They got us. Oh, my bad. I got excited. <laughs> right now, I just wanna kill. I'm pissed. Well, we just dropped two. Hopefully we can drop a lot more here if uh, if the group across the street don't mess us up again. Oh boy, these came, these literally just appeared out of the damn clouds, out of the clouds. Yeah, shoot them. Get up! Woo! There we go. What do we get? Ten maybe? Eight. Good shooting boys. They came out of the clouds and went. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was sweet. I mean, they came out of the clouds just boom. Yeah, buddy. Ryan Buck. Nice. Good shot, Buck. Nice shot. That was a far one. Nice shot. Apple iPhones. Shout out to them. Uh, they took away our uh, auxiliary plug-in on the new phones, which is great because you have to run an adapter, and uh, the adapter broke. It's broke. Do -do 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 -do. So it is the only adapter that we have, and we don't have a pizza delivery guy to bring us another one. So uh, we're on one caller now. So we're gonna try to make it work. Look, they're doing it, and then when they get to us, they're pick up. See that? has to be wind. That's the only thing. Oh, here we go. Come on now. Look at them flipping. They are literally flipping upside down. Come on, turn in here and do it dirty. Big group. Come on. That's the first big pass and try. It looks like they're gonna do it again. You know how they circle every time and each time it's like a step lower, step lower? It's just we're not, they're not stepping. Yeah, they're not stepping down. 
Look at all of them on the right joining up. Come on. Five real low out front. Come on. Come on. Give it up. These birds are smart. These birds over here see a ton of spreads, and that's what we're dealing with here is these birds just see a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of spreads. So um, tactics are, you have to get extremely creative. That's why we're in lay down blinds. And uh, that's why we're in lay down blinds. You just have to get extremely creative. These birds see a lot of decoy spreads, a lot, especially during conservation here. Look at the snow with the ducks. He's acting like a, he thinks he's a duck. <laughs> what are you doing, man? What are you doing, man? You're not a duck. Have the volume so you can still hear birds just like this. If they flare and they're heart working, they're not doing it, that's when you start cranking it up. Probably the smartest snow goose I've ever seen. Oh man, yes, yes, yes. Get ready. Oh man, look at this. They are low. I'm sure you guys on top of my head can see them and I can't. They're behind us. Get up! Man, I didn't kill any out of that far group. Ah, how? Well, we are set back down. Had us a good old luncheon. We got a little group of five coming. Go. Kill us! Oh, yeah, buddy! Yes! Dude, they, they dropped down literally from the heavens and went boom! <laughs> right out of Nebraska what's that area code boy well I'm leaving you guys on the head mount because the wind is pretty bad and I can keep you guys out of the wind so this is the spread we are laying behind this hill that's why it's so awesome of a hide but we're behind this hill here and you cannot see us so the birds are coming in like this and literally we're just we're level with ground you know we're at ground level which is just money this berm is just money but this i'm standing in the kill hole here we have some families out here to kind of create a circle trying to get them in tight in here we might have to loosen this up a little bit it's pretty tight in here there's only about 20 30 foot width in there so we might have to open it up if we start seeing some really really big groups so this is standing into the wind like i'm coming into the kill hole so it's we have families all the way out here we're we're hiding behind the berm which is just beautiful and then it strings all the way back with full bodies out back we have an e-collar here and we have his e-collar here so i have my e-collar here and cameron has his e-collar all the way behind us out back love love the snows down low e-collar you just plug in your phone like so or the better yet Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. Hi. Get out of here! So, the best thing to do is to dedicate, you know, like a like an iPod Touch is the best. So, it doesn't tie up my phone. You leave it out here and it, that's its job is just to play it. So, here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, it's a little after 5 o'clock, finally. We all took a little nap out here. And uh, we finally got some work in little white guys oh boy howdy wow kill up well it is 6 13 we have about what 45 minutes 50 40 minutes left of shooting light oh he's he's putting on a show for him 
Look at him, here he comes back. Kill him! Nice. Old helicopter man. Yeah, buddy. Second time the head mouse fell off. So yeah, highly, highly, highly pressured fields is what this was, guys. Conservation season hit, and uh, like you've seen, we had issues with a hunter. You know, we didn't have issues with a hunter. Someone else was hunting next to us, and we're, they were decoying birds, obviously. Uh, earlier and better than we were earlier in the morning and you know that's the way that the uh, cards fell so just a little tip when someone sits across the road from you and sits a big spread like you do be expecting to get interrupted it's happened more than once this year but you know it's just one of them deals that's extremely frustrating and when it happens to you you're just like why me why me but we made it work, and you know what? We had a great time, as you could tell on the hunt. It, it was a great hunt, and shout out to Cameron. If you guys want to go book a, a Central Kansas snow goose hunt here with Cameron, he does guided hunts on specks, lessers, cacklers, canadas, honkers, and snows and ducks. Go on Instagram, follow him here, shoot him a DM, and be like, hey, Bobby sent me. I want to come hunt with you. Never know, I might be there with him. Love those guys. They are a good old time every time. But, like I said, guys, go pick you up a 4th of July shirt. We got the Freedom Ducks. And while you're there, five buck koozies. You cannot beat them. Thick foam. They keep the old Brutus nice and cold, if you know what I mean. But, I want to thank you guys for watching. Like always, subscribe if you haven't. If you like these hunts where I'm digging them out and I'm finding them, keeping you fed all summer long. Drop that big thumbs up. I appreciate it, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead.